There is still time to cook up a traditional St. Patrick's Day feast for your family. Speaking of sizzling, Chef <laughs> Robert Sackhouse from Publix is with us this morning to share some good recipes for us. Chef, good morning. Thank you for coming in. You're making me blush already. Well, you know, <laughs> I try to. This you, smells delicious. You're, you have the entire newsroom talking because now you have the entire place smelling like this. What do we have in the pan? Oh, right now, what I've done is I've rendered off a little bacon, thrown in some um, cabbage that I shredded. I'm going to be using a ricer. At this point, you can see where we are. The bacon is rendered off. We're going to be using a ricer to actually. I don't know if you've ever used one of these. Um, no. If no. you've made mashed potatoes before, this is the best way to make mashed potatoes. Look at this. Oh my goodness, that's it's so mashed. easy. Oh, and it cuts it up, right? Perfect for you. I know. That's a great idea. And guess where you could buy that? Oh, Publix? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how'd you guess that? Oh, so I So then all we're going to do is we're going to mix this up. Cole Cannon is actually it's a traditional Irish dish that um, they'll either use kale or they'll use um, cabbage, like I've done. And I, I pers personally like to throw in bacon. Well, okay. bacon, it, yeah, bacon to anything you know. is bacon always Bacon makes anything go good, wrong. right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. That's all we're going to do. Um, one thing that I failed to mention, I've also put some parsnips in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. A parsnip, if anybody out there who doesn't know what a parsnip is, is like a carrot that's on steroids. It's like a <laughs> super, super sweet. Very delicious. Very good for you, too. All right, well, okay. Michelle wants you to try this while I'll ask another question, Robert. How long does it take to put all this together? Because it doesn't seem like it's that many moving parts to put this great meal together. Um, really, it didn't take me that long. Um, we've also included the recipe for corn, bre corn beef, mm -hmm. um, but I actually bought this at Publix. Okay? It, they make a great corn beef product, so I want you to try the corn beef with this. And that's already ready to go. Oh my that's, gosh. Well, I actually had delicious. to cook this. I put it in an oven, 350 degrees, with a little bit of water. And this one actually came with the seasoning packet. Well, I'm going to grab this little the piece. The color of looks amazing right on this corned beef. It is. It's a nice pink, very delicious. All right, let me try it now, too. It's okay, terrific. That is hot. Hold on. Now, you guys teach. Um, Classes. I we did do. not know this on um, people how they can pr learn to prepare these items. Absolutely. On uh, Phillips Boulevard, we have or Phillip, Phillips Boulevard, we have a cooking school. We teach a demonstration type of class. We teach a hands-on type of class. Anybody who's interested in cooking, come down and see us. Um, I personally like to get people back into the kitchen. So we have a lot of fun at these classes. Does the meal change? Is there like a schedule for what type of meals are going to be prepared? If you go online, we have a calendar online. Just go to Publix.com. Cooking schools, make sure you hit the Orlando school, and then um, you'll see a calendar of events. We have different menus all the time. We have taught up to uh, two, three, four classes a day. Wow. We also do private if you've got a birthday party. Good way to bring me a call. What, call. A, what yeah, about different absolutely. levels of experience? Because maybe I can't do what you can do, so do you have like different levels for people? Actually, He's the most rewarding <laughs> thing, the, the, I've got the finished product there. We're just going to let that burn off. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, the most re rewarding thing for me is we have what's known as the base culinary. It's a six week course, uh, one day a week. You get people that come in the first day, they're terrified of cooking, absolutely terrified, which amazes me. I grew up cooking. By the end of the six weeks, they're walking in with their phone. Chef, you have got to see well, what sure. I did. Oh, the, you've got feeling. to see what I did. You know, and to me, that's very rewarding. 